G'day, welcome back to the podcast. This is episode 277, which means this is the second episode in this special seven-part series, which I'm calling the Video Strategist's Toolkit Series. So what we're doing over the course of these seven episodes, so last episode and the next five episodes, is I'm gonna be breaking down for you the critical elements that you need to master and understand as a video strategist and have in your toolkit as you develop confidence as a video strategist. So if you haven't yet listened to the last episode, episode 276, then I suggest you start there, as in today's episode, we're going to be getting straight into the second element of the video strategist's toolkit series, and we're going to be talking about goals. <laughs> That's right, goals, critical to establishing a effective video strategy for your clients. So let's get into it. So as we look at the total, uh, all the seven elements, which I outlined for you in the last episode, we know that goals is the second element. So we need to first clearly understand and have clarity on who the audience is that we're trying to reach. And then from there, we can determine the goals that uh, we're trying to influence in a video strategy. And then from there, the rest of the seven elements is that we're gonna dive into content distribution, optimization, metrics, and then production. But we'll save those for the next coming episodes. So when we think about goals as a video strategist, really it's all about understanding that as a video strategist, or really, as a video producer or the role of video in growing businesses and in marketing is not about the video itself. So you're not selling video as a video producer or a video strategist. What you're selling is the outcome that that video will provide. It's like that old adage of um, someone doesn't want a, a drill what they want is the hole in the wall that that drill is going to enable them to have. And you can take that even a step further to think that they don't even want the hole in the wall. What they actually want is um, the ability to hang a picture on the wall that the hole on the wall enables them to, to have. And then that picture on the wall, because it's a picture of their, their grandparent who's recently passed away. So what they really want is the ability to, to maintain that memory of that grandparent. But in order to do that, they're going to need a drill to get a hole in the wall, right? You with me? So when we think about video, video is not about the video content itself or the form of the content itself. In fact, for video to be successful, it needs to be aligned with the outcome, with the goal that that video is going to provide for the business. So within our toolkit as a video strategist, we need to understand um, how to help our clients connect the video content with the outcome or with the goal that that video is trying to impact upon for their business. Another way to think about this as a video strategist is that um, the idea that you know in the medical profession, if you were to prescribe a drug without having to identify the problem that that uh, client or that patient is actually facing, then potentially you're going to lose your license to practice. So I want you to think about this phrase, the idea of prescription without diagnosis is malpractice. And that's equally true when it comes to a, being a video strategist or using video to grow a business. Because if you just, you know, prescribe a particular type of video, like a beautiful cinematic brand video, without having first diagnosed whether or not that's what this business actually needs right now in order to get to the business results that they need for their business, then that's potentially video malpractice. Okay, so the second element here is about spending the time asking the right questions and developing processes and frameworks within your video business in order to make sure that you are prescribing the right uh, solution for that pain or that problem that that client is feeling. And when we think about the goals, it's really about understanding that there are different stages of that journey that uh, a customer goes on to buy from a business. And so there are different uh, stages of that that you can impact with video strategy. So whether it be the top of the marketing funnel, like awareness, right? Or whether it be the bottom of the marketing funnel of conversions, they're very different goals that video can impact upon in different ways. And there's a range of different goals in between there as well, without going deeper into it in this episode. 
So your role as a video strategist is to help your clients identify the gaps in their current business. So is it brand awareness that they need? Do they need more people to be aware of their brand or their business who are unaware currently? Or is it um, the middle of the funnel, which is that idea of um, what I call engagement or consideration in a marketing funnel? That stage is more around how you can build better relationships with prospects that move them closer towards converting or buying from that brand or that business. At, at that middle of the funnel stage, it's not about making the sale, but it's about establishing trust and developing um, expertise and building relationships with your prospects in order to make it easier to sell when they move towards that conversion end or that bottom end of the funnel. Or, you know, let's talk about conversions, right? If you identify as a video strategist that the gap in your current, in the business that you're speaking to or consulting with, if you identify that the gap is that they have, you know, plenty of engaged, aware prospects coming into their business, but they're not converting readily enough, then there are specific videos that you can execute for them for the goal of conversion or improving that conversion percentage or conversion rate. So, as a simple understanding, if you can spend some time identifying the, the current marketing need that a business has and then looking for ways to inject video in the right videos into that uh, particular stage of that customer journey so that they uh, set up for success to get the results that that client needs. So... What I've kind of outlined there is what I call a full funnel video strategy. And we go much deeper into that in the Video Strategist Masterclass, so we won't go deeper into it here. And I'll share a little bit about how you can get into the Video Strategist Masterclass in a moment. But basically, the idea of understanding as a video strategist and having tools in your toolkit that can clearly connect the needs that that client has in their business, the identified needs, with the goals that they can um, align video content to, then you're going to be eventually creating the right videos for the right purpose and then using them in the right way. So the second element to understand as part of your video strategist toolkit is goals. And if you wanted to go deeper into understanding these seven elements and developing confidence as a video strategist, just a quick reminder that uh, because you're listening to this series here, you can save $100 on the engagevideomarketing.com slash VSM is the website for the Video Strategist Masterclass. The code is EVM100. Use that discount code and you'll save $100 on the full course. But I'm going to remind you that we're coming back to you in the next episode with episode three of this seven-part series as we're looking at content. So we understand the audience. We've established the goals. And then the final stage is we're going to, um, not the final stage, the third stage. Thank you very much. This is live, guys. I'm recording this live. There's no editing here. The third goal is content, which is really what are you actually communicating? What are you saying in the videos? How are they being, um, you know, what's the content that's being communicated within the particular strategic videos that you're executing? So once again, guys, I'm Ben Amos from Engage Video Marketing. It's um, been a pleasure to be with you here today and um, I look forward to sharing with you more in the next episode. So that's coming tomorrow if you're listening to this live or look for the next episode on YouTube at engagevideomarketing.com slash YouTube or on your podcast player of choice and we'll dive into the third element, which is content. All right, guys, take care and I'll see you in the next episode.